Aya. I checked out Untrapped, the story of Lil Baby. It was directed by Karam Gill. This is a documentary that showcases Lil Baby's transition from being a successful hustler in the streets of Atlanta to being a successful artist in the rap game. I remember the first Lil Baby track I bumped was Southside. After I heard that, I knew he was gonna be a star. Your breakthrough comes from your sacrifice. That was the film's most powerful message that I believe was dropped by QC CEOP. Poverty and lack of opportunities is usually what motivates people to slang and this documentary had a huge emphasis on how Lil Baby struggled to give up the fast money that comes with trapping in the streets of Atlanta for the slow money that eventually comes with being a successful hip hop artist. He's lucky he had well-known people in his corner like Young Thug and QC CEOP who actually wanted to see him win and kept him out of the streets cause as they showed with his boy Marlo who stayed in the streets, that dope boy lifestyle usually ends with death or jail time. They included commentary from people that know Lil Baby and told stories from his past, like his moms, close friends, as well as stars in the industry that he's close to, like Young Thug, Gunna, Charlemagne the God, and even Drizzy Drake. The documentary made it clear that friends and family are way more important to Lil Baby than all his fancy cars, jewels, and the lavish lifestyle he lives. By giving all that minimal focus but highlighting the great relationship he has with his friends and sons. It also showcased how he inspires his community with his story because he overcame poverty and is living the American dream. But even though people in the streets were filling his tracks, it wasn't easy for him to cross over to the mainstream because a lot of people couldn't understand his southern accent and were initially turned off by his sound. The documentary also showed how COVID-19 slowed down his career, but he was able to regain his momentum and take his career to the next level by dropping the record, The Bigger Picture, which was fueled by the Black Lives Matter protests that erupted during quarantine. While watching this joint, I noticed how Lil Baby matured over the course of his career cause his lyrics got better and at first, he wasn't really rocking with all the things he had to do to become a successful artist like promo runs and performing for small amounts of cash. Also, being respected in the streets was his top priority. But as his career progressed, being respected in the rap game became more important to him. So after he got snubbed by the Grammys, he still decided to perform at their awards show. And I doubt they paid him because he realized his performance would introduce him to a new audience and people would always remember an amazing performance. This was a dope, informative, and dramatic documentary that was filled with stars and featured some interesting old footage of Lil Baby as well as highlighted some of his biggest records. I noticed that as Lil Baby got bigger, so did his chains. So they should have added some visuals of him shopping for ice and ice box or something. But Lil Baby fans should enjoy this and this is good motivation for the streets. So I'm gonna go ahead and run Untrapped, the story of Lil Baby, three mics. 
Let me know what y'all thought about the flick in the comments below. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I have movie related content dropping every week. So lock in with me by hitting that like and subscribe button. And I'm gonna get up with y'all on the next video, all right? All at me. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way.